everyone and welcome back to Shanti Fine Arts. Today we are going to work with watercolors and we are going to paint. As you can see friends, I have painted this watercolor or butterfly on a wood grain background like imagine there is a fence on top of which this uh, butterfly is sitting and I along with my usual watercolors I'm going to use some of these watercolor or rather water soluble graphite pencils from Faber Castell and I'm going to show you how to use this to improve your paintings. I'm starting off with blocking the background which is the fence or the wooden wall and uh, doing up to do that I am using my water soluble graphite pencils and you can say see that I'm making pretty sketchy lines I'm not trying to blend them at all because they are water soluble so I'll use water with the help of a brush and blend them a little bit later so the first layer I did it with water soluble uh, pencils and it kind of gave, gave a grainy gritty look that is very uh, much visible common in a uh, wood surfaces and I think that worked wonderfully for me and also it made the process a little bit faster so that thing worked great and I am soon going to make a whole painting with uh, those water soluble pencils and review them so that you can understand how wonderful uh, that um, those pencils are. Now once uh, the initial paint or uh, pencils were laid and I came back with water and now I am adding more detail, now I added more detail to the background with uh, uh, the regular watercolors with a paint brush and I am using both a flat brush and a detail brush to do the do the further details on the wood and background and uh, being sketchy over here is pretty good you do not need a well blended look because wood has grains and you want some of the grains to show next I painted the shadow of the butterfly which is just a pretty like uh, dark uh, paints gray shadow and I made the, some of the areas a little darker than the later, uh, others uh, just following my reference photo. Then I came to the body of the butterflies first on one of the wings. I started with the lightest colors first which in this case was yellow and once I filled in those areas with yellow then I came back with the surrounding of uh, the edges with the red and uh, since I was painting wet, wet on wet the red kind of blended with the yellow quite a bit and some of the areas I pulled some of the paint back with my brush uh, while it was still wet and created the necessary effect. Now you can see that I'm working with a Crayola crayons. Now I could have used masking fluid and masked the areas that I wanted to keep white but if you are lazy or if you don't know how to work with my masking fluid or if you just don't want to bring out your masking fluid for just just such a little work this works wonderfully use a piece of a Crayola crayon I'm using a white one because I want white areas and uh, just put them in those areas where you do not want paint to come in but a uh, note of caution is that no matter how much paint you add on those areas they will not get painted anymore so you can see that now that I'm adding my purple paint light purple color no paint is getting into the areas where I have add, made the marks with the Crayola crayons and I am now darkening the areas so I'm going from a gradual purple to dark blue and creating a gradient in the process um, adding lights and darks to different areas to create the lights and shadows and in this case I'm closely following my reference photo this was a photo taken by my friend by a fr artist friend of mine and uh, who intends to paint the same picture someday but I just couldn't resist myself and did it and uh, this being the almost the beginning of spring although spring is not all all here I am very glad to share this with you and this serves as a very simple beginners exercise as well because there is not much to this painting but still it is beautiful and you get to learn wet on wet wet on dry use of um, 
uh, alternate uh, way to work without using masking fluid. So I think it's it's a very good exercise for a beginner water a, a beginner who is trying watercolors for the first time or the first few times. Now I'm working on the next wing, the other wing, and this pretty much works as my first wing. There's not much difference to it. I'm starting off with the lightest colors and then adding the darker colors and in the lighter areas I'm doing that wet on wet. Uh, important thing to note is that since I want some of the air light areas to remain light, those for those areas I have to wait till the paint dries completely before I come back with other colors around that area. Because if while the paint is while the yellow paint is already wet, if I start add, adding the purples and blues, they'll all blend together and it will be a uh, messy smudge and nothing else so to keep the lines sharp i will have to let the light areas dry first and then i have added um, darker colors coming back with the bottom of the wing with the same light to dark uh, principle adding the lights first then adding the darks wet on wet in the lighter areas and then after they dry come back with the darker areas surrounding the light areas darkening some of the dark areas uh, as usual i am always a big fan of hyping up the hyping up the contrast to make the painting pop up keeping the lights light and the darks really dark putting in the little legs and tentacles as the last bit of touch to the butterfly. I hope you enjoyed the painting and learned a few tricks, one or two tricks at least. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. And do not forget to hit the like and the subscribe button. Thank you for watching.